Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where I picked this one just because the title itself seemed weird to me. Something called Ritz Cracker Pie, listed kind of as a dessert, but I was wondering if the inclusion of very salty Ritz Crackers would cause this to taste a little odd. Well, there's only one way to find out, so join me as this week we decide to make... <laughs> Ritz cracker pie. So first thing we're going to have to do is make the meringue, which in this case consists of three egg whites and one cup of sugar, where you want to gradually introduce the sugar into the whipped egg whites. Now, as you can see, it took me a very long time to actually get the egg whites to the stiff consistency requested in the uh, recipe. And one of the things you're going to want to do is make sure you don't do what I did and have kind of cold eggs. You want to have room temperature ones because they will whip faster and you won't be stuck for the maybe 20 minutes it took you to actually whip all of this into the consistency you see here. Also, don't forget in this step, after you've added all the sugar into the egg whites, to include one half teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla as well. Next, in a bag, you'll want exactly 18 Ritz crackers. And then go ahead and smash them into tiny, tiny, tiny little bits, as you see here. Then take those 18 Ritz crackers, finely ground, along with 2 thirds cup chopped walnuts, and add those to your meringue. Then stir those together until combined. Then you'll put the mixture into a greased pie pan, and you will bake at 35 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And here you go, a Ritz cracker pie. And how does it taste? Honestly, I was very surprised. I thought the uh, Ritz cracker would have actually come through at the end of it, and it actually does not. It's a very nice uh, meringue, if not a bit stodgy or thick. I forget what's probably the better descriptor for it. Very nice. Uh, the walnut was probably a bit strong. Probably would have chopped it up a bit finer. Maybe put a little less in there, but this was an enjoyable little dessert. That's going to do it for this week on Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. Please come back next week with another edition of Cooking Grandma Style.